Hi, I'm here with Vanessa Hudson from Kent today for uh, Women's Baller of the Month. How are you feeling about that, Vanessa? I'm really excited to be nominated and to have won, so it's a great feeling. All right, and what made you choose to go to Kent? Um, they had my program. I wanted to be a zoology major, and they had that. And also, they were giving me the most money in scholarships, so got to go where the money is sometimes. What's been your favorite thing so far about your major? Um, I've always loved, I've always been interested in learning about animals, their anatomy, physiology, behavior, and everything is so interesting to me, and I want to go to school eventually to become a vet, so it felt like the right path. Awesome. All right, so what made you join Dodgeball and stick with it? So I joined Dodgeball because I used to play as a little kid in summer camp every year. It was my favorite activity. I used to get on the counselor's nerves because I kept asking to want to play Dodgeball. And so when I saw the chalk advertising on the outside of the um, student center, I was like, I definitely need to go to this dodgeball practice that they're having from 4.30 to 7 at the rec center. And I went once and I loved it and I kept coming and I said, hey, can I join the team? They're like, yeah. I said, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my college career. That is definitely a good story. I don't think I've ever seen anybody yet that has actually played dodgeball outside of the NCDA. So... I think you're the first for me at least. Um, what sports did you play in high school that had an effect on your dodgeball career? Um, I played basketball in high school and then I played softball as well. Um, softball, um, it just comes with throwing. So I, I was a new to softball when I started in high school. So my coaches taught me how to throw overhanded. So that's how I was able to actually learn how to throw overhanded in dodgeball. I'm naturally a sidearm thrower anyway. But all, that softball, previous softball um, playing had something to do with that. And then with basketball, my coach always said that uh, basketball is a game of angles. And I believe it's true for dodgeball, too, when it comes to crossing and blocking. Everything is about what angle you're at and how you're trying to execute a play. So I just thought that correlated greatly with yeah. the dodgeball. Okay. Um, and you've been in the league for four years, right? This is your last year. Correct. Yes. Uh, so, do you guys have any rivals? Um, CSU and Akron are always our rivals because we are so closely <laughs> um, distanced from each other. We always play each other all the time, so we know how everybody's playing style works uh, with their team and everything. So, we definitely have them as rivals because we know how they play, so we're always just trying to get the best of them at every given uh, chance. Is there anybody specifically from those teams that you rival personally? Yes, um, Sky, <laughs> Sky Thornsbury from CSU. Um, she does not know this. I've never said it out loud, but I'm always trying to one-up her every time we are in competition with each other. She is a great player. I hope she gets this award one day, too, because she definitely deserves it. Uh, so what's your favorite matchup so far this year, Ben? Um, at the Dr. Peter Bro Classic, it was the... Saginaw Valley and UWP game. Um, Kent was in charge of roughing that game, and it was a very exciting game. It went to OT, and UWP ended up winning. It was so much fun to ref and watch. It was hard to keep my emotions in check, trying not to root for one side or the other, because I am a ref in that situation, but I really loved that game. It was really exciting to watch and to ref. I definitely feel like that game was really intense for you guys, refing. It definitely seemed like it was a really intense one that you guys had to have your full attention on the whole time. Yes, and I actually wasn't head refing. I had my co captain head ref because he needed more head refing experience anyway, since I'm leaving this year. And I was like, man, I'm glad I'm not in charge. <laughs> I'm just helping. <laughs> yeah, that one was definitely an intense match. Um, who do you mentor, or who is a mentor for you um, in the league? Or are there any specific players that you look up to? Yes, so Ryan Close, um, he's one of our coaches for uh, Kent. Um, he's definitely a great mentor. He helps keep us calm and collected at, on the court as a team. He really helps me to stay calm because when he's calm, you can't help but to be calm as well. And since I'm an on-court leader, it translates into our game, trying to keep us together as a team, trying to execute what we've gone there to do. So he, he's really good, and he's a great coach all around. He's always coming up with drills for us to do. He, he's always one step ahead when it comes to planning anything out for dodgeball. So he's a really great help and a really great mentor and a really great friend. Um, what goes into your success on the court? Um, so for the last two years, I've been more of a um, court on-court leader. 
So my success really comes from my player success because I have to make sure I'm guiding them in the right way. And if I know I'm, I'm doing my job well, then I can go ahead and do what I do best when it, when it comes to my individual game. But right now, it's more so focusing on us playing as a team. And if I can lead my team, then I know I can go out and do what I'm good at doing. And especially this year with you guys coming in with, how many starters did you guys even have uh, that were returners? Ooh. Me and two other, so three, there's three of us. Yeah, three starters. So you not only were trying to succeed on the court, but you were also trying to basically build your team from the ground up. And you've been yes. doing a very good job at that, I have to say. Thank you, thank you. I know you guys were down a little bit at uh, Peterborough Classic, but you definitely still have more retention than we were expecting to see for you guys this year with you guys only coming in with three players. Yes, I'm glad we were able to just go anywhere at this point. Um, we do have a full 12. Yeah, we only took uh, nine to uh, WMU, but we played very well with those nine, so I'm not even mad. Yeah, you guys still came out with a win, and um, yeah. you guys actually had a pretty close match with CMU, if I remember right. Yes, yes, we did. We we uh, lost by one point. kind of hurts, but, you know, we played well. They, ha they had 11, and so it's always a, a man a numbers game when it comes to that, but, yeah. you know, we did it. Uh, what improvements do you think that the league can make to help our progress on our gameplay? So I think we've been doing really well this uh, semester slash uh, season because we've actually had a few new teams join and there are other teams that are thinking about forming. So it's really nice seeing that we're able to get our name out there as a league and start to form new teams. So I think we're doing pretty good as, as uh, getting our name out there as a league. Um, as far as like improvements, I don't know. We're doing pretty well right now, but uh, uh, I think um, for moving forward, definitely making sure we're trying to remain professional as much as we can. When yeah. we, cause, you know, you think of dodgeball, and we're group balls, but sometimes you know, being more professional in that aspect, I think we can we can uh, go get really far and get some more teams joining the league. Yeah. Do you think that um, CSU, Cat, and Akron having the close relationship that they do has affected their gameplay? Um, yes, coming together as teams, um, we're, you know, lucky to be in close vicinity to each other. But um, other teams that have the opportunity, you should definitely go and just go and be with other teams and practice and play and get to know them because it's a nice friendship and bond you can form with those players and those teams. And it really gets you excited to play. Yeah. Um, so do you guys have any pre-match rituals as a team? As a team, we do not have any pre-match pre-match rituals. I personally have a lot of pre-match rituals. Uh, <laughs> I, I like to do everything the same in the same order when I get up in the morning from eating the same thing, um, stretching in the same order, warming up in the same way. So I'm ritualistic like that. Do you feel like it works for you? Yes. If I don't do it that way, I feel like something's off. So I try to stick to that as much as I can. And since you're so real uh, ritualistic, do you have pre and post tournament meals? you go for? Yes. Yes, I do. I eat a banana nut muffin before every tournament day. Um, and post game, I really don't care what we eat as long as it's close to the school that we're at so we can get on the road to go home because I am tired and I want to go to bed. My favorite so, thing to eat after tournaments is also whatever I can get so that it makes me go home faster. Yes. <laughs> uh, so who do you think is going to win it all at nationals this year? I got MSU winning it all. They looked spectacular at WNU. Um, they play very well. Or they're very organized. They look like they got everything together. So I got, I got MSU taking it off. All right. And you have number 12, right? Yes, I do. What made you choose that number? Um, it was my high school number. Played basketball at number 12. So I really love the number. It's very even. Uh, it's an even number. And um, I've always played with that number. Even before high school, I used to use 12. So I've always just liked the number. Awesome. And do you have a walk-up song that you would prefer? Sorry Not Sorry by Demi Lovato. Favorite song by her. Really gets you hyped. Just ready for what walk-up yes. song you want to have. Yes. And whose jersey is your favorite this season? It has to be ours, and I have it sitting right here because I don't know why. I just knew you were going to ask this question. I have no <laughs> idea how I knew you were going to ask this question, but I have ours being the best. Um, <laughs> I think our coach did a really good job at designing it this year. So, 
You guys definitely have a really cool jersey design. I know I got one when I saw it because it was really cool and I was like, wow, that's impressive. We need to have those. Yeah. Shout right. out to Austin Byler. Yeah. All right. I do not think that I have any further questions for you, but I do appreciate your time. And we are definitely happy to see you in the league. Happy to see women getting as much recognition as we are, they are now. Definitely excited to Thank see what you. improvements you guys continue to make and see where Kent gets to go this year. I feel like you guys I are definitely going to make some progress this year and be left in a really good spot for next year. Thank you. I haven't been to a Nationals before, and this is my fourth year, so I'm hoping we can have enough people to go <laughs> because that's all I really want to do before my time is up. Yeah, if so, you can, you guys should definitely yeah. go to Nationals. It'll definitely be okay. a good one. It is so much fun going to Nationals. I really hope to see you there because I want to see you play in the women's match. I'm, I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for that. I'm super excited for it. 